Hi, I'm Paul from Valorex and Christmas has come early. We have been fortunate enough to be gifted some bags from a popular brand called Vincita. So we've been given this box because of our YouTube efforts, I believe, and how maybe they've recognised me doing stupid stuff on the Brompton, and they've given us three bags to try out. One, two, and then there's three. How lucky are we? Not just to try, it's actually to keep and review. We've been gifted them for free, with no pressure to write positive about them or anything like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to test them and we're going to give a review on each bag. And for impartiality, we're also going to do a separate video on all the bags that we currently use and we've used for years, especially with the Brompton bags. We're going to see how they compare just to keep it nice and impartial. And yes, this is Paul from Veloworks. I've just had a haircut and a shave, which a lot of people say that they I look like a completely different person. But yes, it is Paul from Veloex. Here we have the Birch 2.0, which is a front bag for the Brompton. It goes on the Brompton mount, front mount just here. We have the big Nash rack bag in dark brown. So this one goes on to your rack like so and clips on using a universal clip. And here we have the Sightseer 3.5 travel set for the Brompton for when you fly. We're going to have a look at some of the bags and give our first initial thoughts and impressions on them. And then we'll be doing a wider review later on uh, once we've tested them for a while. So this is the big Nash rack bag. One I've been really excited about. I hadn't heard of Vincita before they approached us, but the, this bag offers a range of solutions I've tried to have on my Brompton myself. So I've tried to fit panniers which some of you may have as well, and it's been very unsuccessful. I have a rack bag, the Brompton rack bag, and it's I do like it, but my feet can rub on the on it as I'm pedaling. So it's all right, but it, it could be improvements. Whereas I feel as though this one has a nice thin profile, so that's not going to happen. Also, it has this adjustable rack mount, which is a universal rack mount, so it could fit on any rack, I believe. So this can be adjusted, so you'd be able to sit this further back than the Brompton rack bag. Inside, we have a nice rain cover. We've got, oh, look at that. Lots of nice compartments, always handy to have. We've got the laptop holder there, iPad, gadgety stuff. We've got the click fix, uh, uni clip, bits and instructions for the bottom. We've got a nice strap. Always useful. I do use the straps a lot on my other bikes. And generally, it's just very well made. It's got branded zips, YKK zips. Um, it just all the stitching is really nice. I mean, we've had a lot of bags over our time, and I can tell from the off that this will definitely last the distance. But there's one thing I'm super excited for this bag, and I think just a genius solution. It's I think it's about 20 litres, this bag. I will double check that and state it again on the review but what I love about this bag is extra pocket here and an extra pocket here so what I spoke about with panniers this bag overcomes so you have quite a big space in there clothes yeah I reckon I could get my stove in there potentially my sleeping mat that is just genius absolutely genius and then if you're not using it as you can tell, it just clips away like that. This bit here will be to clip it to the rack so it doesn't flap about, so that'll connect. I'll figure out how that does that. The rain cover as well has pouches here, so you can put it over the drop-down pockets. As you know from a lot of my videos, I'm a big fan of uh, Luminous Yellow, so that's a big tick for me. So I'm super stoked to have received the big Nash bag from Vincetta. Super excited to get it on the Brompton and give it a try. And I'll let you know how I get on with it. Here we have the Birch 2.0 front bag for a Brompton. 
and first impressions are really good again the quality of the stitching is really good and the buckles again the zips are branded um, so keeping the same as the other bag that we just looked at one thing i really like from from having another brompton bag for many years they have kind of taken care of all the wear points so this has an extra bit of material going all around here the brompton bags at the front do get kind of munched on walls and if you're leaning the Brompton so that's a really good shout. We have this nice cage system in the back. This system for fits onto the front block of the Brompton and this system transfers over to this bag. Uh, so that's nice. We've got some lovely pockets in this pocket. Again, ooh, yellow rain cover. Love it. And then that's quite a nice padded pocket that you could use potentially a water bottle. Uh, this pa pocket's really padded. It's almost like there's some neoprene or something in there. And so that's really nice. Nice front bag, easy accessible. Feels like the fabric is, I would say, definitely shower proof at least. And then nice big buckle. And here we go. Organization central. Some more pockets. Again, nicely padded. We've got probably this one just mirrors it the other side. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Shoulder strap. Now, organization central. So what we have in here, which I will pop out to show you, because it can be removed, is a lovely orange organizer. So we have see-through pocket here, little pocket here. I guess you could put tools, tire levers. Definitely good for touring, especially because you could if you could have this with important stuff in and you could literally just bring this out and you know exactly where everything is socks and pants always important so yeah really nice it can be removed if you don't want to use it but definitely a really good thought out option we've got a nice padded gadget pocket and then just a really nice bit of space i would say the one thing with the brompton ortley bag which they don't produce anymore which i've been using it's quite big at the bottom and it tapers in whereas this one seems to be consistent all the way up to the top so i think that you'll be able to get more things in here with as i do top my other bag out so we'll see i do love my ortley brompton bag i've got it with my brompton so i've had it for about eight years but i'm really keen to see how this compares and the usefulness i definitely think for touring for me this will be a better option and even if I was to use my bike for commuting, I think it'd be a really good option, but I'll definitely give it a good thorough test. One thing I do really like about this is when the buckle's done up, this will be facing forward. So I'll be on the Brompton here. And if I want to access something, oh, I can access it whilst on the bike. Excellent. And the biggest bag of the lot is Sightseer. 3.5 travel set for the Brompton. So this is a really exciting solution if you want to fly and travel with your Brompton. Now I've done a bit of flying with my Brompton and I had the B and W hard case. Now whilst I did like it and it offers maximum protection for your Brompton, it's a little bit of an awkward size because it's square when you're wheeling it people don't make allowances for it. It's something very simple, but I basically spend my time kind of people running up to me or not running up to me or running for their plane or walking going, oh, oh. And you know, if you're going through a busy airport and that happens like 20 times a minute, you kind of notice that maybe that's a little bit of a difficult, well, I wouldn't say a flaw, but you know, a bit of a difficulty with that system. I really liked it, um, but I did sell it because I didn't feel as though I was going to use it again. Also, the dream for me is to be able to cycle to the airport, pack up the bike, and then cycle on the other end or pack it up, put it in a bus and get to where I want to go. That would be the kind of full experience. And I believe that this bag offers that. So this is it in its packed up form. In the back, in here, the cage from the other bag fits in here. And this clips to the front of your Brompton all nice and packaged, ready for you to cycle to the airport. When you get to the airport, take this strap off.
and your Brompton fits nicely inside. It has a nice hard bottom and the sides are super padded. Another additional feature is it comes with this up and over bag. So once the Brompton's in, this can go on top. I'll show you just there, which has three pockets so you can pad out, put clothes in and give your Brompton extra protection. Great idea, especially if you're paying for extra the extra luggage of flying with the Brompton, you might as well put more stuff in it if you need it, if you're going for like a long week somewhere or a couple of weeks. In here, we have wheels, put a slot onto the bottom, so then you can wheel it around. So you've got everything you need to make sure that you can fly nicely with the Brompton. I always, when I do fly with any bike, I do use pipe insulation. So it's called lagging or pipe insulation and it's gray and it's good to put over wheels, good to put over the frame of your bike. So I definitely would always back a bike up with that as well as the padding that any bike case offers. We'll look at that more in an in-depth review. So again, amazing, amazing stitching, you know, really hardy. There's a nice carry handle in there if you need to lift it up. I'm hoping, well, I'm not hoping, we're definitely going to plan maybe to pick a city for us to fly to. Sarah can hire Bromptons, hopefully from a Brompton dock or a Brompton hire company. And then I will look to get to the airport by my own means using this bag and some of the other Vincetta uh, bags. So yeah, wonderful. And then once you're ready to go again, you just double this round. So a really clever thought about bag that really hones in on what the Brompton is best at, and that is best at the, a real versatile bike for multimodal travel. And this really helps bring that home. So I'm really super excited to be able to test that and hopefully we'll do it in the not too distant future. Vincetta is a company based in Thailand and is owned by two sisters whose father started it in 1987. Their father started the company with an aim to develop a range of storage options on the bike and off the bike for the avid cyclist. Thanks for watching this short video and thanks to Vincetta for sending us the bags. Please keep posted for reviews on these wonderful items for your Brompton.